What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Hyper Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's begin today's lesson at the top center of our page with the nose. We'll start right in the middle, start with an oval, coming down and then back up. Let's add a small circle along the top for a highlight. And then we'll fill the bottom area in black. Now with the nose in place, let's draw the top edge of the muzzle. We're gonna start over on the left side. We're gonna curve this up above the nose and then back down on the right. And we'll curve up the muzzle, going around and then up towards the cheeks. Let's round out the cheeks. Starting back on the left, come all the way around and then back in. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. Starting back on the left side, then it's down in the middle and then up towards the right. Now over on the left side, we're gonna draw in the mouth. Start with a curve going up and then down. Let's go back to the center and separate the brow with a straight line going up. Now we're gonna draw the top edge of the brow. Let's step over towards the left, start by bending this out and then up on both sides. And go up in an angle and then bend this out. Now let's close off the side of the eye. From the very top, we're going to step in, curve around, and then in on top of the cheeks. Now I want to pull the iris and pupil towards the inside. Let's start from the top left. We're going to draw an oval, coming down, and then back up on the inside, and do the same thing on the right. Let's trace the inside of that oval for the pupil. and it'll fill the pupils in black. Now I want to enhance the brow with two folds. Let's leave a gap in the center, start over on the left, and bend this up and then out on either side. Now before we finish off the head, let's move down and layer two large fists on either side. Let's start over on the left, start by going up, round up the fist, come all the way around, and then back in. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Start by lining this up. We go up, round this out, come down, and then in. Let's bend this down to the bottom knuckle, and all the way around. That's why I have a little overlap along the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Bending this down, bend this all the way around, go up, and then out. Now we're going to place the thumbs along the inside. Let's start from the top left, then the thumb coming around, and then down, then that in, round up the tip of the thumb, and then back out in behind the fist. Let's line this up over on the right, going up, and then down, then this in, round up the thumb, and go out. Now we're going to add those two large spikes on either side. Start from the top left, and this down, and then back in toward the fist. Let's leave a small gap and draw that again. Coming down toward the point, and then back in. Now with the hands in place, let's move in and draw on the side of the body. We're going to start underneath the head over on the left, the body coming down and then bend that in towards the hip. Let's line up the top over on the right side, bend this down and then in towards the same height. Now just under the head, we're just going to round up the shoulders, going up and then down and we'll bend that out in behind the thumbs. Let's move down along the side of the body, curve the bottom of the arm, coming down and then out. Let's add that detail in the center of the body, starting over on the left, bend this down and up towards the right. Go back to the left side, we come down lower in the middle, and then back up towards the point. Now with the hands and body in place, let's go back up and finish off the head. From the top of the left eye, we're going to step out, curve this down, around the cheek, and then in on top of the arm. And we'll do the same thing on the right. 
Let's go back up to the top and round out the head. Starting over on the left, and go up in the middle, round this out, and then bring that down on the right. Let's round out the corners of the head, come down the side, and then bend this in on top of the hands. Now I'm just going to close off the side of the head, starting from the cheek, and it's out, and then up. Then underneath the cheeks, add one more fold, coming down and in on top of the arms. Now I want to continue this curve underneath the arm, coming down and in toward the side of the body. And then taper this back out and up and behind. Let's add one more point, starting up here, coming down, in, and go up and in toward the side of the body. Let's continue working down towards the feet. From the hips, let's move to the center, move down and add a curve, going up and then down. Now I want to leave a small gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the left leg, going out and then down, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the leg down and up from the outside. And then go all the way back up to the hips. You want to curve out and then back down towards the bottom of the leg. Let's add the tail coming out from the left side. Start from the left hip, then it's out and up. And bend that down. I'm just going to pull this back in towards the body. Tapering this in and then towards the side. Now along the bottom of the leg, we're going to add that thick cuff. From the bottom corner, step up, draw an oval, going all the way around the leg, and then back in along the inside. From the side of the oval, draw two straight lines coming down. And close off the bottom with a curve. Let's go to the inside of the cuff, going to curve the heel, coming in and then down towards the bottom of the feet. And it will round out the bottom of the feet, starting on the left side, bend this down, go across, and then back up towards the outside. Now from the outside of the foot, we're going to draw a curve, so it's up towards the top of the foot, round this out, and then bend that down. Now an angle is up and in towards the bottom of the cuff with a straight line. Let's go to the outside of the cuff, draw a straight line going out in behind the top of the foot. Now I'm going to add a thick sole on the bottom of the feet, so I'm going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. And now we're gonna add those stripes. From this point, let's step up, bend this in and then down. Let's go up to the top and draw that same curve. Let's draw three small ovals along this bottom edge. So start on the bottom and just work our way up. And we'll do the same thing on the right. and we'll add three small ovals along the top. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Hyper Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.